listen, we love our time that we spend in the mountains. We love the crispness of the air during a dawn patrol skin up the mountain. We love the adventure of, of a hut trip with our crew. We love, we, we love dropping in to a perfectly shaped park. Who doesn't love the simple pleasure of just ripping some turns down some fresh early morning groomers? We love it. We love it. And we fight for those moments because those moments in these places are life-giving for all of us. And since we love that time, we also love the people. We love this community, this community filled with adventurous mountain type people just like us. We love it. But there is a darkness that exists here. Whether it's the gross statistics around high suicide rates or mental health problems or substance abuse, or people just burn out on the selfishness that pervades this transient culture. It feels like maybe there are some misplaced expectations on what the culture ought to do for us, or, or there's a lack of a sense of a greater purpose, or it could just be a simple identity crisis. But whatever it is, it's darkness, and it's in this community that we love. Jesus famously said to his followers, you are the light of the world. Let your light shine so that people might see your good works and give glory to God. You are the light of the world, he said. Let your light shine. Don't hide it. And within this darkness in our culture, there is evidently a need for light. Real, true, life-giving light givers. The darkness needs it. And so for us, as people of light, it's time for us to not hide it. It's time for us to rise up. It's time for us to be bold. And it's time, it's high time, that we start reflecting that sacrificial loving, hospitable, sympathetic, unapologetic, generous light of Jesus. Now is the time to shine brightly out in the darkness, to shine. So shine on you children of light, shine, shine. <laughs>